Hey guys, JC Smith here. Uh, today, since the dump truck is all finished up, I've got her all legal and plated and insured and uh, put some miles on her. I think she's okay. Um, we're going to take her on her first um, load. We're going to put, we got two loads to do today. Um, first one's going to a nice lady. Um, well, let me tell you what we're doing. Uh, we're going to put three bundles of slab wood in here. Um, probably just just at 10,000 pounds and we're gonna take it to this nice uh, lady she's widowed she lost her husband not long ago and they heat with wood and uh, so we're gonna take her three bundles of slab wood and her son has uh, volunteered to go ahead and cut it up for her so we're gonna take three bundles over and drop it for her and then we're gonna come back we're gonna load up two more we're gonna take them to a uh, a uh, guy that uh, is ex-military and he is uh, disabled, can't work, and um, his uh, he said they could use a couple bundles of, of wood that would help them out. So we're going to take him two bundles and his brother's going to come over and um, they're going to cut it up. He's going to cut it up for his, for his brother and um, that's what he's going to use. And um, he only has room to store two bundles. That's all about all they can take right now. So. Uh, he'll probably need more throughout the winter, but we'll take it to him. Maybe we can, hopefully if you have some time, we'll cut it up for him. But, uh, anyways, so let's get the truck going and get it loaded, and I'm bringing along for each one. Alright, guys, so there's our first load with a dump truck. I got three bundles of slabs on here. I figure that's about just under 10,000 pounds. Kind of high. Usually I break the bands when I put them in a dump truck like this, but uh, they went in okay on this one, so we're going to go take this to uh, a nice needy family that uh, they heat with wood, so we're going to go deliver this to them and to the lady and her son's going to cut it up for her, so let's get at it. The dump truck did her first load good, but there was a huge gap and the wind would blow in here. No door would shake. This hinge was already replaced with, you know, replacement international hinge, but the pin was out of it. So I took this off of a parts truck that I have, and we're trying, it's been like that for so long, it let the top of the door come out. So we got a strap around the top of the drawer, door, and we're trying to pull down on it like this to try and pull it back and hopefully we can get that closed up. I mean, there was a gap right up in here big enough I could stick my finger. Uh, every time you hit a bump, it would open up more. So um, after we replaced the hinge, the gap was still there, but I think it's from the door, you know, banging around like this. So we're gonna try and bend the door back, see what happens. All right, we got it closed. See what we're doing now. Ratcheting it in. I got the vent window open right here and the other window rolled down so we'll, hopefully it won't break that's it that's it and then what i did is i stacked up lumber here so it's on the bottom of the door up above this fold so hopefully what we're trying to do is is twist the door back this way we'll see all right go ahead and crack it loose we'll see what we got Now we'll move the, move the lumber, get it out of the way here, and you see the gap is even all the way up here now, and it's looking a lot better. I don't think we're there quite yet, let's see if I can do this, you see how much it moves. Very little, but we're gonna try it one more time. All right, so that red strip goes from there to this passenger side seat bottom, um, real down low, because we're trying to pull this way. We don't want to just pull straight in. We want to pull down at an angle. And you can see we're in, now we're inside the weather stripping. So it's got a pretty good bend on it this way. And uh, 
you know, this is a preferred method of POS bodywork. Okay, go ahead and crack it loose. You see, hang on a second. You can see the big gap here and how tight it is at the top where that's how much we're twisting that door. Okay, go ahead. There's no cracks in the door anywhere. Oh, see, that, that feels good. Like, let's see here. Like, we're actually touch. Yeah, look at that. We're touching the rubber now. I think we got it. Because I can feel the door touch the rubber. And we're not, we're not latched yet. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's nice. That's much better. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. That'll work. Yeah, check that out. Watch that. Okay, so I got tension here. What I want to do is... latch. Hey, come over and latch this door for me. Regardless, I can feel the gasket touching. Right there, we're hitting the gasket. So, that's pretty snug. I like that. I believe that'll take care of the problem. I mean, the noise is so bad. I mean, I was getting irritated because it takes so much to irritate me. Right? guys load number two this is going to somebody else it's a little down and out this is uh two bundles on here um they said they don't need that many they said they can get away with just two because of what they've already cut so we're gonna get a strap on it and uh get on down the road now she does Well, guys, we made it back. The old girl did good. Um, that's our our second uh, our second delivery handled. Uh, everybody was extremely happy and and appreciative of uh, getting the slab wood. And it makes you feel good to help people, and you know they're they're going to stay a little bit warmer this winter, hopefully. Um, now, on the way back, I ran across an old um, Chevy truck. I I'm not sure if it's a '58 or a '59. Um, but uh it was a first year for the dual headlights and i just can't remember if that was 58 or 59 i'm just not really all that familiar with them but uh anyways it's supposed to be all original and you know not messed with but uh had a four speed transmission and i wanted to th I, I thought then things came with a three speed not a four speed but uh well you know how some people are so, uh, you know, you take what people tell you with a grain of salt. And then the other day I was happened to be out at uh, Summit Racing picking some stuff up. And they had a, uh, it was a late 40s, early 50s. I never did catch the year on it. Uh, Ford, I think it may have been like an F1 or something like that. Um, and what's really neat about this truck is there's no paint on it. Uh, what they did is scotch brighted the whole entire Bare, they took it down to bare metal and they scotch it. They took scotch bright up and down so it had kind of a um, a matte stainless finish is what it reminds me of. And then they urethaned over top of it. So I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna put them at the end of this video. You guys can check them out. They're pretty neat old trucks. And uh, that's gonna do it for this one. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off here and get go get in the shop and get into getting to get some work done. But uh, like I always tell you, if you like what we got going on, give us a thumbs up. I do appreciate that. Uh, if you haven't already and you want to hit that subscribe button, do so. We we sure like to see that too. And leave your comments down below, guys. And hey, enjoy the enjoy the trucks I'm going to show you here at the end. Thanks, guys.